CSX Q237-24, CSX 2779 This is the most common scanner used for rail fanning today. I would say a type of scanner. This is a Radio Shack trunk tracker. It's a 300 channel direct entry programmable. Uh, handheld, has a proprietary rechargeable battery. You can input the frequencies right from the uh, front. I think pretty much all scanners do this today. As great as these devices are, one of the worst things about them is the antenna that comes with them. Now this radio here will see receive 12 bands ranging from 29 megahertz to 956 megahertz. That is an incredibly wide range. Well antennas in order to be really efficient have to be cut for the frequency range that they're trying to receive. Well if you got a range that wide you got to have some kind of an antenna that's a hybrid antenna that is right in the middle of all that and picks up everything okay, nothing well. So there are several options uh, for you. You can get uh, antennas that are custom made or a, a approximate for the rail band, like a Diamond 77. Those are great. They're kind of long and gangly, but they're great antennas. Another, another option is an external car mounted antenna with a coax that runs in. Very easy to hook up that coax. With a BNC connector, you just plug it right on here and um, all of a sudden your radio is extended. Now there's a couple of different types of antennas that you want to look at. The best thing you can do to improve your radio reception, the single best thing, an exterior antenna. Now this one I have mounted, I punched a hole right in the roof. I know that hurts a lot of people to think about doing that to their car, but this is really the best way. This is the exact same antenna that screwed into my permanent mount on the roof of my truck, but this one is in a magnetic mount. Works exactly the same way, except it just sticks temporarily onto your car. You order it with the connector that you want for your radio. Most of the time it's a BNC. This is a mini UHF because I have some weird stuff. Most of the time you would get a BNC connector. That fits on most Uniden um, and Radio Shack uh, handheld scanners. There are all kinds of antennas that you can use for your outdoor antenna. My personal favorite, the quarter wave whip. Very, very efficient, uh, works just beautifully, is short so it doesn't bang into a lot of stuff. It's small, so very discreet, nobody sees it. And I think it works just as well as anything out there. A lot of folks have these, the 5 8 wave antenna. This has uh, got a load at the bottom of it, a coil in it that extends the uh, electronic length of the antenna. Plus it's got the spring to keep it from getting bent when it wangs stuff. And it will because it's three feet long. Uh, it's just a big antenna. It's great if you are transmitting, which none of us do on the railroad band. Uh, if you're transmitting, it's great, gives you more uh, range that way. But on receive, I don't think it's any better than the quarter wave whip. It's much more expensive, it's heavier, um, you look like a rail fan with one, but I think for the money, the quarter wave whip is the way to go. In Jacksonville, Florida, at the CSX Old Kings Road Crossing, this is Danny Harmon, out.